This version introduced night navigation systems, infrared sensors and support for guided weapons. It was the natural evolution of an aircraft that already dominated the skies. After the 1991 Gulf War, Israel faced a new strategic challenge with the deployment of Scud ballistic missiles by Saddam Hussein's regime, revealing a worrying vulnerability, the limited ability of the Israeli Air Force to strike targets at long range, with precision and speed. The message was clear. Israel needed a long-range strike platform capable of operating deep into enemy territory, carrying a large volume of weapons, and at the same time engaging hostile fighters, with the F-15E Strike Eagle appearing to be the ideal choice. And so the F-15 was born. In 1994, Israel signed a contract to acquire 25 F-15I fighters, the Israeli version of the F-15E. But as usual, the Israelis did not accept the basic package. They wanted more, and so the F-15I would come with modified avionics, domestically produced electronic warfare systems, and compatibility with Israeli weapons. The APG-70 synthetic aperture radar allowed terrain mapping and target identification in any weather conditions. The cockpit featured the LBIT helmet and the Kaiser holographic display, which gave pilots a level of situational awareness that is rare even by modern standards. 